next up is uh, Joseph Sanchez. He's the CEO of Q Technologies. Those who aren't from London, what does Q mean? It's a line. Good. This is actually more than a line. It's a smart line. Joe, smile for crying out loud, dude. So, uh, ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. He's ready to roll. Q Technologies. All right. Uh, thank you, Miles. Uh, my name is Joe Sanchez, founder of Q Technologies. All right, so I'm sure you guys are all queued up for this presentation right now. Um, how many of you here have waited in line, online, to buy something that you really wanted? I definitely have. And as you know, today the line has moved online, right? And what we're seeing is people are buying things, not now, e-commerce has gone from now to next. I want the hottest thing that's not available right now because we can get anything right now, okay? And so consumers today are com committing their demand pre-product realization as we see exploding at crowdfunding, but also pre-retail availability that we see in record numbers of pre-orders and everything from hot consumer electronics, fashion, cars, entertainment, and even internet of things like smart light bulbs, 350,000 pre-orders. This is called pre-tail and it's becoming mainstream, okay? Uh, However, but pretail sucks if you're a fan, right? You're buying something, and unlike physical lines, you're left in the dark, you're all alone, and you have no idea when you're gonna get your product. And for brands, brands have no idea to even anticipate or measure their demand. Our friends Microsoft back there over-anticipated demand for their Surface, and they had to take a $900 million write-off, $900 million, okay? But on the other hand, brands, you know, Underplanned, like Sony and their, their PlayStation's out of stock to the summer, leaving fans frustrated with that delay. What if there's a way that you can actually take control of your position, have fun in that process, and move ahead in line by doing things to support the brand and the ultimate win-win for both the brand and the consumer? That's what we're talking about. And today, you guys are gonna get an exclusive preview of the smart line. Essentially, what we've done is evolve the concept of a line for the digital age. Now you can jump ahead in line by sharing, referring, and engaging. This makes waiting so much more fun, exciting, and rewarding. All right. All right, so here you're gonna see what's uh, the first virtual dynamic queuing system for e-commerce. You guys ready to jump in line? All right, uh, here is the smart line. Uh, this is one of our uh, initial pilots, sprayable energy, it was the first sprayable energy shot. And, and please tell me that thing broke, or I'm going, okay. <laughs> um, and here you can see what the top pre-order customers have to say and, and, and who they are. And this is something that could be embedded on the, on the website for the product launch. Now, I'm excited, I'm ready to go and make a pre-order purchase for Sprayable, and I'm gonna do that by buying it here. This is actually hosted on our site, and we connect with a, uh, a number of different e-commerce platforms. Once I make my pre-order purchase, I am entered into the smart line. And here, and this is what it would look like, da -da -da. I can see how many people are ahead of me online. And you probably recognize something like this from, from mailbox or those type of experiences, but that was a static queue. This is a dynamic queue. So now I see you know, what my position in line is. I can see who else is with me in line, those ahead and behind me, and down here are different rewards. If I can get into a top position, I can earn one of these rewards and get great perks, status, and even the bragging rights to be the very first person to get sprayable energy. And I can do that by performing the activities over here on the right. For example, if I wanna express my excitement on Facebook to my friends about sprayable energy, I could do that by performing this activity. And I earn points. The more points I get, the further up the line I move. And it looks like I'm not gonna... I can also follow on Twitter. I could post on, share on Facebook, like on Facebook. 
Let's see if I can do that. Da, da, da. Here I just got points and I've just moved up the line. Now, uh, we can also add a pre-testimonial to express my excitement. This is great organic customer content for SEO. Uh, of course, if I can get someone else to follow me online by making a purchase, then I'm gonna get the most points for that. Now, these are activities I would normally do as a fan to express my excitement for a product I'm really passionate about, but now I finally am rewarded and I'm recognized for doing them. And as you can see, I moved further up the line, but I'm gonna need to keep coming back into the queue throughout the pre-launch in order to stay ahead. And this is what makes SmartLine so highly engaging. We're seeing anywhere from 50 to 70X what the industry average is for post-purchase engagement. Now, as a brand manager, I'll go ahead and I'll set up my campaign in the management consult, and it's super easy. Uh, just update, act, act, select activities, create rewards, connect to the e-commerce platform, boom, and I'm ready to go. We also allow a bunch of management, so if, you just, if you're a hardware company, just came off Kickstarter, you can upload your, your backer list to see the queue, you can also assign them extra points, you could invite a wait list if you had, you can also give them extra points for their early support. Uh, we have full email, ma email management, campaign re reports, and so forth. And then we also have provide a great dashboard here where you could see how many, yeah, how active your queue is, you know, the number of referrals, and it looks like a lot of them converted into, changed into conversions. I can also see my uh, social reach, and it looks like my brand has got, in this example, has gone pretty, generated a lot of social reach. And we track all the different activities, and we have a whole bunch more that we're working on and to come out with in the future. But uh, Q for the sense is, is now for the first time your fans can become your powerful marketing channel to help you launch your product as well as drive your brand promotion while optimizing demand. And so the smart line revolution is here. The wait for change is over. So thank you very much. Right on. Thank you, Joe. Um, I'm going to ask you a first question. So can you talk about some of your customers? And who's having some good successes now? Uh, okay, yeah, so we, we've been piloting this and we've just kind of come out to talk about this publicly in the last few weeks, starting at Demo Enterprise a few weeks ago. But you're gonna start seeing our smart line involved with a lot of very big product launches throughout the course of the summer. So we're at a different stage than the company saw previously. We're just getting to market right now. Right on. Hands up high, folks, you know the drill. Don't make me, yes, Kate. Hey, thanks. Hi, my name is Kate. I have a question about the way that you share and your demographic that you're pointing at. So if you're 25, you're more likely to share maybe on Facebook. What if you're 35 or to 40 and you don't necessarily want to tweet about it? Is that something that you guys think about? Yeah, great question. Uh, it turns out when, when people have done analysis of social networks, uh, for example, and they found the thing that people share the most relating to commerce, it tends not to be the coupon that someone got or the, the new vacuum they bought. It tends to always, mo on a vast majority, super majority of the time, it's a hot product that they're really excited about that they want to share to their friends that has not come out yet. All right? And so these are things that these people are normally doing to get the word out, to express their excitement. Uh, early adopters tend to appreciate firstism as the number one incentive. Next is, is perks and then recognition and then discounts or stuff is way, way, way down. And so we've optimized the platform for early adopters to 15% of the population that is engaged in this. These are the, the tip of the spear, as you will, in the demand funnel. And that's what we've built here, a very powerful uh, funnel for them. Yes. Hello, my name is Gabriel. So a quick question. If you're trying to tailor a message, how do you monetize the things you're trying to sell? So let's say, for example, I'm a restaurant, and if you give me 100 tweets, I'll give you $5. If you give me 10 of your friends to like me on Facebook, I'll give you $20. How do you do that in the back end? Well, that, that our, our, our platform here is really to drive sales, pre-sales specifically. 
So we don't really quite have a restaurant use case right now, and if we did, it would probably be buying you know, a reservation in advance in order, that, that's, the, that's, the, that's how you get your ticket to get into the queue, is you have to buy something, right? So I'm either buying a, a PlayStation for pre-selling that, and then I'll get into the queue after that. And so all, this, all the activities are actually selected by the brand of things they want to optimize. And they can fully customize the, in the weights of the different types of points that are related to that. Uh, we're also gonna be coming out with surveys soon. Uh, brands have a hard time getting their best fans to fill out surveys, but not with Q. Yes. Hi, my name is, is uh, Dave. How do fulfillment centers actually stay linked up to the point that they can deliver the product when the queue is constantly changing? Yeah, great question. So, so the biggest challenge right now is, is all brands, because the man, because retailers understand that they need to be demand driven in order to succeed right now, uh, you know, they're having to manage the market dynamics of that, right? And so part of that, there's always been a trade-off between supply and demand. If I have too much demand, I don't want to, you know, keep selling because I don't know how to manage that. Um, and then, and conversely. So what, what we're able to do for the very first time now is, is offer a way that brands can prioritize their customers in a way that's fair and efficient and democratic, okay? Think about lines only had the attribute of, of chronological order, Recently, money, I pay more. But what we've done is crack that open, right? We've created you know, virtually a number of possibilities that you can incentivize people to jump over things, right? And advance themselves. And the way that, and that works great into segmentation of, of order delivery. And, and really where we're going with the company is really uh, building a uh, demand chain management technologies company. Okay, if you think about the, the world of manufacturing was all about, you know, the system behind that was supply chain management when it was supply driven. Now that things become demand driven, we need to manage demand. And so for great examples, we have a company that has 75,000 uh, pre-registration, okay, for a $1,500 product that we're gonna be launching. Uh, they only have 5,000 spots for their first shipment. And so they need a way to, how, how do they determine who gets those spots? That's fair and democratic. So they're gonna use our system and gonna, those people are gonna self-select themselves into those top 5,000 spots. And once that locks, we're gonna remove those and, we, and our, we're working with our e-commerce platforms in the very first priority fulfillment. This has never been done before. It's very unique customization we're doing. That's gonna send, we're gonna dynamically alter those positions based off the queue position, send it to the e-commerce platform, which will then, you know, for the fulfillment, pull them out of the queue and then it'll keep going for the next batch. And we can do the segmentation. Uh, we have another customer that says, okay, October is 5,000 units. Uh, those are the top positions. The next uh, 20,000 will be shipped in, in November. And so they can keep competing. And so you can keep selling while at the same time managing your fulfillment and, and order delivery. And that, that's where we're going is in, with this, yeah. Hi, uh, with regards to your scoring system, do I get more points if I have more followers on Twitter or Facebook, or is it all the same? Uh, yeah, so that doesn't matter. Uh, like, you know, the reason why clout never did very well is because influence doesn't really matter. It's how I use that influence that matters, right? So my real system is based off performance, right? I can have a lot of fans, but if I don't really incentivize them to do anything, it doesn't matter. So it's all driven by how many, you know, if I, for one end, as a user, I'm, I'm incentivized to go in every, every day to actually share, and you get some points for that. Uh, however, if I get, if I get uh, more people to interact with that share, therefore the quality of it's better because people are liking it or reposting it or adding comments, then, then you get more points for that. And obviously we wanna drive towards sales or, or uh, content or data collection through surveys and things like that. So uh, it's totally you know, customizable by the brand, but the, the goal here, I mean, came, I came from the finance world and I want to revolutionize digital marketing and apply a lot of the, the, the metrics of, 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 uh, of results-driven uh, methodology to, to digital marketing, and that's what we're trying to do. Data, man. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, we're officially out of time. All that right. was Q Technologies. Nice stuff. John. Thank you. Good stuff, dude.